abiondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. We got a problem or an issue with the compressor clutch. So just to look at how that circuit operates, first of all, we're gonna look at the schematic itself. So here's all of the information we see. I've kind of broke it down into sections for you. So here we have a relay, compressor control relay, and it's controlled in a variety of ways depending upon the application. So here's our fuses, one's controlling the the coil in the relay, and I have a 10 amp fuse that then feeds from the relay and depending upon the application, is it a diesel or is it a gas? And if it's a gas, then it separates into SRT and accept SRT. So down here, here's our control side. In the case of a diesel, it's called the uh, module engine control, and here will be your PCM basically. So just a different way to control it, but still with the module. So that's what's going to ground the coil. So if I had no actuation of the clutch at all, I got to start with my fuses and the control side here to validate that that's working correctly. Now I'm going to scroll over here. So you see the diagrams coming down. Here's the AC clutch. The diagram was a little long. So what I did was I pulled it over to here. So here is the clutch motor and then it grounds on the other side. So power only when the relay is energized would be available here and then it already has a path to ground. So nothing on the side, it's not like voltage is sitting here waiting for a ground to occur. This is a positive side, the ground already exists. So as soon as power is here, we're gonna have that AC clutch engage. So a lot of times what you can do with your bi-directional control is listen for things. So that's AC clutch is generally a pretty easy one to do. I go find the bi-directional control, I command the AC clutch on, and then I listen. Did I hear it click? So in this particular case, there is the uh, position is on, and then I would go out there for my pinpoint testing or listening to hear it click on and off. So quick and easy. So if I push the button on the, the AC panel or the AC controls, and I seen in the HVAC module, yes, I did see the input. So the AC clutch should be engaged. The HVAC module has to send a command to the PCM saying, you know what, the customer would like the AC to be operating. We'd like you to engage the clutch because now the PCM or engine control module in diesel engages the ground for the relay, which then energizes the circuit and kicks the clutch in. Thanks for watching this video presentation. If you'd like some more training, just go to aviondemand.com or go to one of our social sites. That's all the time for now. I'm Steve. I'll see you later.